BMW, Bayerische Motorwerke, Hybrid Electrical Car, Sunroof, Leather Interior. No, we are not in Beverly Hills. We are in one bluff, Marina del Rey, I believe. But it could be Beverly Hills. It's actually a really nice neighborhood. I would love to have a house here. And this is Jefferson Boulevard, where all the RVs are parked. If you can't afford to pay the rent here, you live in your car down there. When you drive around and explore the neighborhood, you find some really nice houses. You got a way better view from here than in Beverly Hills. You don't find too many houses made of stone. Most of them are wood, but it could be just a facade. I'm not sure, but it looks really nice. I guess the only downside is that you live really close to the airport and sometimes you can hear the planes. My house, my yard, my plane, my car, on YouTube, everything can look pretty good if you just cut it the right way. But I just wanted to show you a nice area here. It's not mine. The car was not my car. Even though it's nice to sit in a German car once in a while, that wasn't my car. The car belongs to my friend Thomas from Germany. He's Gogo's cousin, believe it or not. And I know him also for over 40 years, I believe. And sometimes tragic happened that he has to come to America and visit his friend Mike what happened is we have a mutual friend and he was paragliding he's also from Germany he moved over to LA and the parachute something was wrong came down and he passed away age of 50 so it's a really tragic event but that brought us back together which is a nice thing but the funeral is actually next week so I'm probably not going to do as many videos. Today I'm showing him around a little bit, Beverly Hills, all the places we can go. I just want to do this little intro video. Thomas from Germany. This is how I always imagined to live when I moved to America. With like a basketball court in the front, two door garage. But to live here, you got to make a lot of money. And I don't really know what those people do for a living. There's a lot of people, they don't have any money. You see all the homeless people in LA. And then there's areas where people have so much money. If I just show you this little part in my video, you would never believe this is Los Angeles, but it's really close to Venice Beach. Tell me, what do you think? You want to live somewhere here? Oh, it's pretty nice, but you actually hear the airplanes from the airport, so. That's true. You can hear them when they come by. It is pretty loud, yeah. but I would take that. I would love to live in one of those houses here. Nice lemon trees in your backyard. This is a really, really nice car, but it's too small for me. And now when you start a video, I always tell you they're doing the lawnmower. You hear it? Unbelievable. <laughs> That's every YouTuber's nightmare to hear that noise in the background. So I'm in the car right now. What I was about to say is, the car is too small for me. It's really hard to get in and out. I really like the bigger cars, like SUVs. That's more like a GIV car. Yesterday was Memorial Day and I dressed up nice. I wanted to do a video of what's happening on Venice Beach, but for some reason, I really did not feel like filming. There was a bodybuilding competition and I barely have that feeling that I don't want to record. Like today, I feel like I really want to record. And here we are on Jefferson Boulevard. And this is where all the RVs park. I think this is the only street where they can legally park. It's a certain amount of weight. You cannot park on the street, I think. But look, they got like school buses here. People live in their cars and RVs.
Maybe I was wrong when I said those houses are in Marina del Rey. Maybe it's in Playa Vista. We were just up there on the hill and the only concern I have too, what if there's a big earthquake? Do those houses come down, sliding down the hill? The last time I've seen Thomas was when I was in Germany when his wife Annette passed away suddenly. It was terrible and now his best friend passed away and they both were 50 years old. So, like I said, do what you can do to make yourself feel good all the time. Life can be so short. Holy moly, you want to live up there? I could not sleep one night if I would live up there. Too afraid it's going to fall down. So today's video is just a video of me and Thomas driving along the coast all the way to Manhattan Beach, maybe Redondo Beach, just along the coast. And I wanted to show you how nice this area is. The airport is on the left and we're approaching El Segundo. I lost my wallet in El Segundo. You know that song? There's a bike path from Santa Monica all the way to Manhattan Beach, Huntington Beach. At this beach is the only place where you can bring your food and barbecue on the beach. It's legal. Dockweiler Park, that's an RV park. And you see those big oil tankers out there? That's where they deliver the oil to this oil refinery. This is where all the oil goes. You think there's sometimes a spill in the ocean? We are in Manhattan Beach now. And as you can see, they got some really nice houses right here on the side, right next to the ocean. Welcome to Manhattan Beach. Yeah, beautiful Manhattan Beach. Gotta be careful, giving you a ticket for riding on the sidewalk. No bikes, no rollerblading, no skateboarding. It's a nice pier, but there's nothing really to do. It's not like Santa Monica Pier. There's no rides, no vending. You can just walk up and down. I think at the end, there's like a little aquarium. This makes a great photograph here. See the big oil tankers? He got a nice office here. Really nice houses here at the peninsula. You can play some volleyball. If you're ever down in Los Angeles, you gotta see Manhattan Beach. The great white chalk. Just imagine you're out there paddling and you see this fin coming up. Would you be scared? That's one reason I don't like to swim out there too much. Look at those teeth. I heard when you're out there and you see a shark, you should punch him in the eye. I hope I never have to try that. And he actually got a shirt on with the shark on it. Look at this. <laughs> Looks like the railing seen some better days. 10,000 kilometer down that way. That's where mom is right now. Hey mom, Krefeld, Germany, this way. I was right, they do have an aquarium at the end of the pier. They even have an emergency box if somebody falls off the pier. You push it and the lifeguard comes right away. And that's where we go in Redondo Beach. I heard they're gonna tear that pier down soon and then we're gonna go all the way down to Palos Verdes. Why does he have two surfboards? For each leg, one. Also makes a great picture. Tommy's gonna put his feet into the ocean. He's like connected to the earth now. Not me. I got connections to the earth for the longest because I was selling drinks every day. Hot drinks, Coke, Diet Coke, water, ice cream, sandwiches, big stick, popsicles, potato chips. Wow, look at that sky today, awesome. I think this is a pretty cool spot right underneath the pier. This is every photographer's heaven to be underneath here taking pictures. Oh 
I like the color, pretty cool truck for sale. From 1955, he sells it for $30,000. And they actually got a really cool gallery here, and I'm here with Ken, and uh, he lets me look around. Look at the cool surfboard they have here. Nice. They got some really nice paintings here and photographs, Photoshop. I love all the beautiful colors. We love color. This is one of your pieces here, huh? Yes. Nice. Pretty cool. Three-dimensional fun skateboard art. Surfing sun, palm trees, and American flag. It won't get any better. Look, that's my place. Mishi's music and tacos. <laughs> Welcome to Hermosa Beach. That's right, Hermosa Beach it is. And Hamosa actually got some really nice movie location from La La Land. Maybe I can find something. Let's go. It is pretty quiet, but it's really nice. Look at his ride right here. Totally chill vibe. Walk zone only. He's catching a wave. And they got the same lifeguard stand they have in Venice Beach. I thought I had a pretty good life, but life can always be better. Look how green the water is here. How come I'm not interested in the surfer's walk of fame? There's really nothing going on on this pier here. This is where Ryan Gosling was dancing. You see the building in the background, but I think they put those light poles up for the movie. The lighthouse. Let's check it out. Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling were sitting right here. This is the back entrance from the lighthouse cafe and everything looks the same. Look, they're standing right here. Welcome to Redondo Beach. Redondo Beach. Isn't that boring for you to go up and down the beach? No, I like it. Sunshine, ocean, nice people. Perfect. And a good old friend. Yeah. Redondo Beach. Redondo Beach. Pretty nice little harbor here. We got those really nice little stores where you can buy bikinis. Pineapple Alley. Hey, how you doing? Private cruises for 39 guests, birthday parties, graduations, corporate events, burials at the sea. I have no idea how those people stay in business here. There's barely anybody here. Hey buddy, did you catch a fish already today? I'm talking to you. No? Okay. Quality seafood. Santa Barbara crap. More crap, more crap, more crap. It's not really fun to see when they put them in the oven right there when they're alive. $38.99 for a pound of crab legs. It's getting kind of heavy. Here are the crabs running after the cook. Ah, Redondo Pirates. They just must have built that skate park because the last time I was here, they didn't have it. Pretty cool. The pier goes in a square here. Just imagine the life underneath the water. All that stuff that goes on there, we don't even know. TikTok don't stop. Yeah, you're a good dancer, girl. You got the rhythm. You got the rhythm. Not eat contaminated fish.
What's up? Are you following me around or what? Huh? That would be nice now. They've been here 37 years. Everything fried. Chicken tender fried. Shrimp fried. Chicken fried. Everything fried, fried, fried. It smells so good. Tempting, but I can't do it. Yeah, high heels on a bicycle. I like it. Does that mean the beer tastes like crap? Mm. This is on the way to Palos Verdes. This is not a bad view when you wake up in the morning and look outside. That's not a bad flea to have right here. What? An Acura? See, when you stay home and you don't drive around, you don't see all this stuff here. You gotta put this out in the universe. That's a nice house to live in. That would be a nice car to have. I wanna put this out in the universe. That's what they say you have to do. You have to believe it. Believe it, believe it, believe it until it's true. Palos Verdes, lighthouse. And in the background, you can see Catalina Island. Look how clear. Normally you never get to see it that clear. And it looks so close. Do any of you guys know where the whales are? Hello? Do any of you guys know where the whales are? People come here to watch the whales, but I don't think it's whale season right now. Be careful of the rattlesnakes. I would love to see one though. Oh my dear, look at this lovely photograph. We definitely got our steps in today. That's good exercise, just walking. And he also walked the, what is it called? The Camino. The Camino. He just finished the Camino too. He walked from Germany to Spain. He walked from Germany to Spain. I mean, he's skinny. He likes to walk. The path goes all the way. All the way, all the way. I know it's good to walk, but it's too far. <laughs> it's too far. I need my little electrical bike on my scooter. Awesome view though. You gotta be really careful when you walk through those things. They really sting you. They stick in your socks, shoes, and pants. And I bet you had that problem before. We didn't get to see any whales or rattlesnakes. Just like this little buck here. What's your name? What is your name? Bonnie! Bonnie! Mein kleiner grüner Kaktus, der steht draußen am Balkon. Holla hi, holla hi, holla ho. Kaktus. That's a Kaktus. That's what we call it in German, Kaktus. You know what the funny thing is? I'm filming, I'm walking around, and I feel like I have nothing accomplished. Even though I've done a lot, I'm hanging out with my friend, but I have a feeling that I don't have anything accomplished. Is that weird? What's wrong, you got fleas? Itchy, itchy, itchy. Oh, your friend's up there. Where are you guys going? Huh? Stretchy, stretchy. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from the Palos Verdes Lighthouse. We didn't do too much. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That's right. Give it a thumbs up. Push the notification bell. 
and subscribe to the German in Venice. I hope you enjoyed this video. We didn't do much, didn't learn too much, but you saw some nice areas from Los Angeles. I see you guys later. Tschüssing!